In this video, we will take a look at conditional expression coles in PostgreSQL. See you on the other side. <laughs> So hey guys, uh, first of all really appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, uh, it's getting a bit dark so I would like to finish it off so if you feel like I'm looking dark it's because it's outside it's dark, I don't have the best lighting <laughs> currently set up but I do want to get, it, get uh, this small video out to you guys in case you would need it. So PostgreSQL provides a few functions which looks like function but which are actually conditional expressions. Uh, coles function, a uh, function, uh, the null if, then we have greatest and case statements as well. These are all conditional expressions, so not functions. They look like function, but they are not fully. A postgres do not term it fully as functions, defined as function. It has to do with their uh, them not supporting Bardiac uh, uh, types. It's a uh, other advanced topic. I'll cover it. Uh, you know like in the future let's take a look at the coles function <clears throat> so over here i would firstly start with a with dropping this animals table on which we will uh do our uh, exploration all right so over here we have a create table as always i'm taking a simple animal table which i uh, took in inheritance uh, video as well i have a name uh a sound which the animal makes and a number of a number of leg attribute pretty simple then i have a few of these uh inserts they might look a little bit weird to you because i'm using null and actually you know like no one inserts it like null but let's say in in cases you have you know like uh, the data being uh, added through transactions through an api connection into database then null is possible that's what your controller is gathering all right so dog is uh woof all right so we have four of these values for dog cat cow centipede i think centipede is it this yeah centipede so centipede has 100 legs and so you you corresponding to name sound and number of legs i've added these values now I have for sound I've added null values for cat and centipede because hey maybe I don't know the sound or maybe uh, it didn't come through the transaction it didn't come through the API okay let's add this value and you can see like these have been added as well so coles is kind of a small expression uh, which has uh, you can think of it like a, a conditional expression which is used as case statement mainly to check the case if the value is null what should happen all right so what coles does is uh, again it's not a function it's a conditional expression all right so let's do a select coles and as you can see my id is providing the kind of the hint at Colesco over here, the value, you can have any star. What it means is you can have multiple, you know, like there could be multiple uh, values in here, comma separated. If you are coming from Ruby, you can think of a, a star similar to as an array argument pass. You can pass one value or an array as well. So that's what it means. You can pass multiple comma separated value. So I'll do Col Coles. And mainly I want to uh, concentrate on the sound. So let's say uh, sound and uh, you know sound from animal. Okay. Let's say what happened. Let's see what happens right now. Okay. So I'm going to clear my console and I'm just going to run this. So what happened is I didn't provide any other expression arguments so what it mainly returned was whatever was available uh inside the animal table corresponding to each of the row so the dog was wolf so it printed out wolf cat was null centipede null and so on so the proper use of coles function over here is to choose the first value which is not null among a list of given options so here we can say like hey 
uh, I want uh, sound null you know maybe we can have null and zero let's say this is kind of like what we provided and I want to you to select whichever is the uh, first not null value all right let's see the result of this we have to make sure that the values arguments we are providing has to match the uh, type on the column type on which we are running it all right so let's say uh, not provided all right so what happened the sec uh, for the case the first case dog which has a woof nothing will happen for the second case not provided coles will first check hey does sound column for this uh, row has any value well there's no then it will go and find out the second whatever is in the second argument so we have provided null which pretty much means okay this is also null so let's keep moving on so now we have not provided which is not null corresponding to whatever is the data type for the column on which we are calling colis so that's why the last one was not provided and then we got not provided all right for null value now what happens if i take this and put it over here all right what do you think will happen remember that colesk conditional expression always returns the first not null or none null value in the list of comma separated option arguments you have provided so here the first one itself is not null so what do you think would be the answer um if you have guessed not provided for all of them you're absolutely right <laughs> so there we go you have not provided for all of them why because the first statement the, sorry the first argument in the conditional expression again it's not a function was not null if we do it this way again let's say okay uh then again it uh, what do you think would be the case so let's say actually let us leave like this yeah what would uh this select command return let's run it so as you can see it tried so this is the result we are looking at let me close down this one okay there we go i'm gonna do it again all right so first uh, for the first row it found out there was already a value uh, sorry there was null so then it went to the second one which is corresponding to the first row in the table which already has woof not null specified as var char and the value is there so it chooses woof it doesn't have to go to the third one the second for the second one it goes to null then it goes to sound and again coles function will apply on each column you are specifying it on all right so for if you're doing select it will apply it on each of the column in the query scope results which you specified uh, through your from and where clauses all right so again here null well that will not work coles will keep moving on further it found sound which was also null it will keep moving forward again null and if all of these attributes are null then coles then and only then coles will return null so it's very like you know simple conditional expression and it uh, helps you build reports especially a good use case of this is building reports where you don't want null value to show up uh, on your uh, you know a data file or maybe on on your front end and you want a value uh, to be specified not applicable or something like that so in that case when you feel like there could be null value on a column and you are building a report on top of it for example select name so let's say uh, we have a product table okay products normally or actually i would say employees and somebody says hey there are three fields it could either be uh you know it could either be name surname or nickname all right so in that case you can apply colors 
okay then you do a uh, name or I can do actually first name surname and then you can do a nickname all right and finally you do if nothing is available you can do whoops what I'm doing <laughs> name not available available there we go so what will Coles the do it will first of all try to see for again for the query scope result specified by your from and maybe you have a where so this will evolve it will uh, execute first and whatever is the query scope result then select would run on the columns uh, and it would run coalesce conditional expression on each of these rows for corresponding column so then it will run the first name check for first name is it available whoops it's not okay it will go to surname is it available uh, no it's not it will go to nickname if it is available awesome print out the nickname if nothing is available then you can say like all right uh, in the result just add name not available and then you would never have a null value issue in your reports so yeah that's a pretty cool use uh, case of colesk if you guys think there are more use cases uh, let me know in the comments and if you want me to cover it uh, more uh, in more detail although I don't understand I don't think there's more detail really here but yeah I mean try it and uh, the last thing I would like to mention is coalesce is almost similar to case statements all right so I would show a little bit again I will create a video on this topic as well but uh, for a case statement what you can do is you know select case there we go case when sound equal to null then uh, you can provide like uh, you know sound not provided sound not added something like that you know and then you will have like else and things like that but anyway the point I'm trying to make is just like case statement does a case when sound equal to null then sound not added and this is more like explicitly you are specifying coalesce actually provides a wrapper around that case statement and build it up for you and it provides you a very succinct way while making sure a null not null value doesn't show up for a column in your query that was all about coalesce function i will ask you to give it a try let me know if you need more detail let me know if i left out something and i really appreciate you guys here Anyway, thanks for tuning in. Take care. Bye.